that's where you see it. So what I'm showing you is this. This is a shortcut formula. It has larger numbers. You think that's not a shortcut. Okay, it is. Um, you can have data values that have decimals. And using this definition or the long way, your mean will have decimals, the data values have decimals, you subtract that's a decimal, you square that's more decimals. What starts to happen is you get this sort of um, messy work to deal with. The shortcut formula cleans that whole process up really nice. Furthermore, what's very nice about the shortcut formula is that you only have two columns, the x and the x squared. What would you guys have using the definition? You got more columns, you got three. Okay? So I would suggest, you know, when you go home and you do some work, invest in the shortcut formula. If you want to do both, you try both. But eventually, get the shortcut under your belt. It's going to save you a lot of time, energy, and hassle. What's the standard deviation? Square root of what? 1,490? Is that true? What's the standard deviation here? Same as what you had there. It's the same value. In fact, if I haven't convinced you yet to use this, this shortcut formula, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point something out. Let's note, very often when people ask you questions about data, they may say things like compute the mean, median, mode, variance, and standard deviation. They're going to ask you to compute each one of those values. OK? You guys OK with that? Why might this be of benefit? Who can tell me why this is, if you, if you use a shortcut, what's another benefit? What does that shortcut formula have to do with the question I'm pointing out to you? Anybody see it? What do you think? Anybody see a benefit? Anybody notice? You guys notice a benefit? You guys don't notice? What do you think? Should I tell you? All right. If you have to compute a mean, what was that definition? Some x over what? The shortcut formula. You're already determining what? The sum of x here. See what I mean? So you're not duplicating any work. So if you have to go through finding the variance standard deviation and the mean, you actually, this is a more efficient way to go about it. Because you already have that value. Isn't it true that? We already know this. Isn't that, what, what's the sum, uh, sum of the data values there? 1,110. What's n here? 6. Didn't you guys already compute fashion nets mean? Didn't you get that 1,110 divided by 6 already? Isn't that 185? So again, if I were you, I'd invest in the what? Shortcut formula. It's just some advice. Do you have to follow it? No. No big deal. But if you like yourself, you're going to find a way to do what? What are you going to do? Do you like yourself? Yes. How do you know? <laughs> they still haven't bought the calculator. <laughs> if you like yourself, do things that do what? Help yourself. Get the calculator, use a shortcut. You know, if you want to go the other route, that's OK too. No big deal. Now, let's go back to this table here. Remember that table? Distance versus what? You guys remember that? Zero to what? Five 
6, 2, 11, 12, 2, 17, 18, 2, 23, 24, 2, 29. What was the frequencies? 3, what? 5, 10, 4, and 2. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, here's the deal. We already did this. I, I regret erasing this information, but do you guys remember when we computed the mean, right? The mean for group data was the sum frequency times the midpoint divided by n. Is that true? Right? We already talked about that. What was the midpoint? 2.5. 8.5. Fourteen point five, twenty point five. What else? Twenty six point five. And then we said, okay, when we computed this, we needed the frequency times the midpoint. And what'd you guys get there? What was the first one? Seven point five, and then forty two, and then one forty five, and then eighty two, and then fifty three. You guys remember that? Is that true? Are these the values you had? Okay. Well, the fun continues, meaning that they can ask you to determine the variance and the standard deviation for group data as well. Now, the definition is similar, provided you actually think of those data values again, not as what? As some values in this bin, but you think of that midpoint as the actual, the best value describing the bin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the formula for variance, but I'm going to give it to you in the form of the shortcut. Okay, and here it is. You guys ready? See if I remember it. Here we go. The variance will be n times sum fm squared minus sum fm in parentheses squared Everything divided by n times an n minus 1. Okay. Meaning, do you know what n is already? Yes. What's n? Note, n is not 6. n is, what is n? No. Oh, I'm. How many people vote for 24? You're going to remember that forever, right? You vote for 20. Why is it? Is it 24? Is it 30? Is it 5? Is it 6? What is it? <coughs> Isn't N what? Some of the frequencies? N is the sum of the frequency. Can you guys tell me, do you have this sum FM information? Do we have that? Say yes, we do. Where do we have it? Right here, remember? You guys added that? What did you get as an answer? Because we used it to compute the mean. What did you guys get? Is it 330? OK, good. Who can tell me, since you have n, 24, I guess, right? We added these things here. It's 24. We knew that already. 24, 24, 24. I have some fm. That's 330. Who can tell me? How am I going to get this piece of information? How do I get this? <coughs> 